Hey guys, Matt Sardo here, Monkeys Fighting Robots, and we have uh, we have to talk about the gods. What is Jonathan Hickman doing over there? I uh, it's a wild ride. It's uh, I was I I enjoyed the book a lot. I did. Okay, so let's kind of talk about this. Jonathan Hickman is reinventing the cosmology of the Marvel universe. Okay, what does that mean? And they drop this like sixty-four page. $10 book written by Jonathan Hickman with uh, art by Valerio Skeedy. Uh, Marte Garcia is the colorist. And you will read the letter work of Travis Lanham. This book is really good. Uh, what's really disappointing is the five page preview that Marvel sent over is not the best to show you. Uh, the quality of the book and the quality of Valerio's artwork and the colors by Marte. So I, I, there's so many exciting things to talk about in the book. Um, but they didn't send me any of the good pages to talk about, which is, which is frustrating. Cause I guess if you're trying to sell the book, you at least give me like a little bit of the good stuff to kind of talk to you about. Uh, but, uh, the embargo on these reviews uh, was lifted on Monday. I'm recording this Monday night. This is going to probably drop. Tuesday morning when you guys will read it and then the book comes out Wednesday so I'm not really going to try to spoil the book for you I'm just going to tell you that the book is beautiful uh I, Hickman always finds really good artists to work with and and he definitely knocks it out of the park with Valerio and Marte's colors like there are some gorgeous pages in this and I'm going to flip through my copy and I, I mean, Hickman always brings the design element to a book, so you always starts off really well. But this book is full of banter, and there's a lot of back and forth. The way that the panel layouts are set up, they're done really well to nail all the jokes and nail all the sarcasm and nail all the elements that kind of walks you through this world. And at the first, I don't know how it's all going to work out, but the main character in this one... His name is Wynn, and um, he's walking through this world, and there's this Babylon event, and things kind of unfold. Like, that's the premise of it. And it's a really good self-contained issue as well. Like, I, you could pick this up and be like, oh, this was really good, and, I'm, and you're not like, oh, man, I need, I need, I, I feel like they just gave me, teased me, and they haven't hooked me into the world. They give you a really solid introduction of a few good characters, and they give you a complete story. Which is which is really good. I, I like. I feel completed <laughs> with this, and 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 I usually read a first issue, and I'm like Jones, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta get that second issue, and then I gotta get this. Like, I think what Hickman does really well in this book is he gives you two characters, maybe possibly three characters, and it really gets you hooked into those characters to where you're like, oh man, I want to follow their journey after this. And it's, and it's not the opposite where they're like, oh, here's a cliffhanger here. You know, you got to read and kind of keep going. Like it's, it's a, a great introduction to the world and to the characters. And you're like, what just happened? That was pretty awesome. I want to see what their next adventure is like. And it, that's a, it's a rare occurrence lately in comic books to get that, to get a full dose of a story. And then be like, oh, I really want to see more of that. That's, then that's kind of where I am with this book. I think it's outside the, it's in the Marvel universe, but it's outside the Marvel heroes world. Like, I mean, there are Marvel heroes that show up, but you're just like, whatever. Those are like, when they show up, you're just annoyed at that point in time because you really want to see what these new characters are going to do. And this is where. I mean, I watched, this is where I'm going to make a comparison and people might think that I'm crazy. And my major experience with Neil Gaiman's Sandman is through the Netflix universe, not through the comic book universe. And now I'm probably going to have to like read a few issues and kind of do what I did with the Yosagi Yojimbo review and talk to you about my experience with that. But... Hickman is writing his version of Sandman. 
And I think he's using these godly elements and, you know, the banter that was in uh, the Netflix version is in this book. And I'm really interested to see how Hickman, who is a brain behind brain when it comes to comic books, decides to explore the elements that Neil Gaiman explored with Sandman. And I, I, this, this could be, I mean, this is his opus of opuses. I mean, he has multiple opuses, OPI, <laughs> um, but this is, this is a huge, huge book. And I, you could feel the weight of the book and the presence of the book uh, when you read it and you're like, oh, somebody greenlit this book and was like, we are going to do something special that really hasn't been done in the Marvel Universe before. If you think about it, like doing their version of Sandman in the Marvel Universe would be pretty epic. And I think that's that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. I think it's awesome. And uh and that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to, I, I, you get a really good, complete story. You get a beautiful book uh, by Valerio. Uh, the colors are done well. The panel layouts are done well. I wish they would have sent me some stuff that I could actually talk to you about and, you know, kind of critique and walk you through it. But they, they, it's the middle of the story, I think. And the way the action unfolds, it doesn't, it's, it's just a weird part of the story to break down for a panel breakdown. I would love to show you some of my like favorite pages and I might look on the line and see if they've released stuff that we can kind of talk about more. Uh, but okay. So you get a beautiful, you get a beautiful book, you get a well-written book and then you get a complete story of new characters in the Marvel universe. I was balking at the $10 price tag, but then I was like, Oh, this is, if this is three issues, you're actually doing okay. Um, and I'm really interested to see like how they print it, the quality. So I can't wait to like go to the comic book shop and see how the print quality is on it. Like if they just give you like the generic lightweight paper, if they do kind of like what DC does and they give you like that premium format book, that would be awesome. But I like this new character that they're, I mean, that they're bringing into the world and I apologize if he's an established character, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I do like what they're doing with these God characters and that Hickman is, is bringing into the DC or from into the Marvel universe. And if they're established, comment below, let me know. And I'll probably, I probably should research a little bit more, but it reminded me of like when I was like reading new universe as a kid, way back in the head, way back in, in, in the thing where like, I was like, what are these characters doing in the Marvel universe? But like the more I read about these characters, I was like, I like these characters and I want to see more from them. And I guess that's what you want from a comic book, right? Like, that's what you want. You like, want to read it and be like, oh shit, I want to read more of this. So I'm really excited to be on the ground floor of this God's universe. And I want to see where like Hickman takes it. That's it. 